name. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. I want to speak with you today on a theme which somewhat of a phrase or, or, or a cliche, what we all know. A part of the phrase rather, united we stand. Of course, we know the rest of it, divided we fall. But I want to talk to us today about standing in unity as a body of Christ. The book of, of Ephesians is one of my favorite books. It puts in perspective for us what God's church is and who is boss of God's church. It puts in perspective for us what God expects of us. Thank you. It puts in perspective for us what God expects of us as Christians, as his children. And it causes you to pause and to look at and to examine some of the phrases that we use and some of the songs that we sing. There's a song that we sing, I don't know if you know it, it says, Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. It's in our hymn books, we sing it. The song says, we share our mutual woes. Our mutual burdens bear. Means that if you have a woe, it becomes mine. And if you have a burden, it becomes mine. Not mine to make mockery of. Not mine to tear you down with. But mine to share until we both get the victory. That's what we're singing when we sing this song. And often for each other flows the sympathizing tear. When we asunder part, it gives, our, it gives us inward pain when we part from each other. But we shall be joined in heart and hope to meet again. And when you, you pause to examine songs like these and look at verses and phrases that we use, it causes us to wonder, do we really know what is it we are saying? When we get up and we sing a song of fellowship, we are one in the spirit, we are one in the Lord. Do we really realize what is it, what kind of a testimony we are putting out? Do we realize the challenge that we are throwing at the enemy's camp? Do we realize the commitment that we are making to each other? When we look at Ephesians, it brings home to us forcefully the meaning of Christian love and unity. It brings home forcefully that what is expected of us. And as Christians, it's easy to use words. We know the right words to say at the right time. We know the right voice inflections. We know exactly where to raise a tone and where to drop a monotone. We know exactly how to get things across. We might even know how to bring across a tear. Yes. 